this is truly a remarkable opportunity to bring together a large amount of talent from multiple disciplines, from social entrepreneurs to investors to policy makers, large companies and scientists that could help create the next wave of opportunities for billions of people in the planet. There are a number of trends that are uh, uh, emerging. We understand better what are the hard problems to solve. Uh, AI, computation capabilities, and big data are helping us solve some of the hardest problems. And bringing this community together, I'm convinced that great things will come out for the well-being of humanity. We're seeing more and more that disaster relief is becoming a big problem and an issue at global scale. More than a third of the global population has been affected by disasters. However, it is the poorest that are suffering the most. About 90% of people that died in disasters over the last years live in the poorer countries. I think there is a great opportunity to bring together data for social good, mobile phone data that can save lives, and new ways of deploying infrastructure to be able to tackle emergency scenarios with earthquakes, hurricanes, flooding, or the spread of diseases such as Ebola or pandemias, uh, the avian flu, and stop them and anticipate with early cues so we can be there when, before, plan for it and help the people in the ground. A lot of people say that data is a new oil. And the challenge we could have is that that data gets locked into silos. Consumers, individuals, they want to be part of this data revolution too. So we're probably at the verge of a paradigm shift where we're going to see more and more data given back to consumers, where we're going to see all their data information that coming from banking, communications companies, social networks, put in one place, in one personal data bank, so they can do with it whatever they see best. They they're going to develop a sense of transparency, a sense of control, and a sense that they're getting good value out of it. So they can donate that data to science, to UNICEF to solve some of the world's global challenges, uh, to their doctor to understand better their health, or to their family when they go away, leaving it as a data will, so they understand how they went through life, what they experienced, and what they felt. So we're at the tipping point. Moore's law is giving us more and more computational capacity, doubling every year and a half. We get more and more access to data, open data sources. And we have machine learning and artificial intelligence algorithms that are able to extract insights and provide machine level intelligence into that data. Um, now, the challenge that we have is not so much on the big data side, but is on what are the big questions that we're trying to answer. Getting close to the communities in the ground, to people's needs, understanding what are the large social problems, because we're going to live in a world of abundance of technology opportunities. And events like these are great at identifying those opportunities and bringing the community together to make them happen.